Hi, I'm Cassandra and welcome back to the organizing tip of the day. Today I'm very excited. I actually got an email look, um, requesting help, which is crazy. And I'm very geeked about it. Not that I don't love my day job of wiping noses and changing bums, but it's nice to do something a little different. So I got an email from Martha and hi Martha. She's looking for help um, with a few key areas. Uh, she mentioned papers, cords, like for your camera, computer cords, phone cords, purses, and um, dog stuff. Just extra little extra ends um, and clothes that she's having trouble finding space for in a small room. I totally feel you, Martha, because I have a very, very small room. <clears throat> Number one, what I want to tackle is extra clothes. Um, I have one closet and no dresser, so I feel your pain with what to do with all those clothes, and oftentimes they end up just being piled on dressers, piled on the floor, and that's just creating clutter and dust and not making your living environment very friendly. So, um, what I did is, first of all, I bought a very cheap garment holder racky thing and put it in the laundry room downstairs. It was about $25.00. I'm plugging Walmart, I got it at Walmart, but you can get them anywhere. And if you have the space, it's only about two feet wide, and it's just $25 little rack, and I put all my extra coats, extra bulky sweaters, all that stuff, down there. My second favorite thing is under the bed storage. They now have these at the dollar store. I've tried, like, the rolly carts with wheels, but they're too high, and I had to take the lid off. And then my cat crawled in it and slept in it. It was totally awful, but... I do like these bags, and I have two of them, so here we go. I'm going to show you. Ugh. These bags. I have four of them under my bed. Um, two are for my off-season clothes as well, and one is for my husband's off-season clothes, and one is where I put um, shirts I don't like of my husband's, and I stick them under there, and that way if he notices they're missing, he's like, where is that shirt? I'm like, oh, I'll find it, and I pull it out of the bag, and if he doesn't, after a few months, I can toss it, right? Because he obviously isn't going to miss it. I'm evil. Hope he's not watching. So yeah, I have four of those under the bed. They're nice because they kind of squish up as opposed to um, the underbed plastic storage. And you can also, like I said, get them from the dollar store. So they're a buck. Underbed, great way to use them. Okay, so here we go. I also have ugh, these babies. As you can see, and I keep it for extra shoes. Ridiculous amount of shoes. Yeah. Um, I have a hard time getting rid of shoes. I also have a shoe rack downstairs that I put under that clothing rack I talked about. We have so many shoes because unlike my butt, my feet don't grow. So I get to just keep those shoes forever and ever. I also have another one of these exact things right beside it that I keep. Um, I don't have a linen closet, so I keep the bedding for my bed, extra sheets and blankets. In every bed in my home, that's where the sheets are kept. Under the bed, like I said, I don't have a linen closet, and it just makes changing the bed sheets that much more convenient. Okay, so hopefully that helps with clothing. Again, also, I love little baskety things instead of dressers, and if you don't have the room in your closet, you talked about having a little shelving closet, like a little ca shelving cabinet, go ahead and put those on there. Another great tip that I really like are those um, big bookcases you can get from Walmart, Canadian Tire, everywhere. They're about $35, and they fit these little baskets, or those totes from the dollar store, any basket really nicely. So you can also use that as a separate um, dresser, like dresser space. And they're thinner than dressers, and they use your vertical wall space. We also, you were talking about... Um, where to put things like dog leashes, cords. Again, I really suggest using bins and baskets. Either if you want to use it in that cupboard you already have with the shelves, fill it up with baskets. And the reason you want to use bins and baskets are they're so much deeper. Pick some that match the color that you're going with. You can see in my room here that it's blue, but the green is the accent. So I would use these fun green baskets and I would either pile them on top of a dresser I already have, or and get rid of those two end tables there and go with really high, those cheap $35 bookshelves on either side, put a cross board on top, they're like $10 at Home Depot, 
just cut it for the length for, so it goes from side to side, and there you go, you have a cool built-in. Fill it up with these lovely baskets that slide on. It'll look great because it'll match your decor. And you label one dog stuff. You label one cords. You label one, you know, for all of the things that you'd want to put. And then also put your books on there and display knickknacks. Using vertical space is a great way. If you don't want to get rid of your side tables, just find another wall space that you can put those great little bookshelves. For under $100, you would have a great focal point in your room and a great way to increase your storage. On to purses. Um, I'm totally not a girly girl. I have one. It's embarrassing. One purse. But there are lots of people out there who have lots of beautiful purses. So a fun way to... my phone's ringing. So a fun way to display them would be on your wall, like art. You can see here I did something sort of like that with jewelry in my room. But you can make one whole wall your purse wall. And a fun way to do that is with color blocking. So pick your accent color, tape it out with green painter's tape, the size a little bit bigger than your purse would be hanging. Attach one of those 3M hooks, tape it out, paint the inside your accent color, and then hang your purse inside there. So it instantly becomes a nice framed piece of art. And you can cover a whole wall with them in different, you know, high and low and all over and make a pretty piece of art. If you're not loving that idea, you can also use the sides of your dressers as great space. Um, put those again, those 3M hooks because they won't damage your dresser and fill up the side with your purses. Uh, the back of the door is also a great place, but if you're anything like me, it's full of clothes. It's awful. Um, or of course, because you don't use purses as often, right? I mean, how often do you really change your purse? The top of your closet, if you have a little bit of space up there like I do, just put some bins and throw your purses in there. On to paperwork. I'm going fast here. <laughs> I like to use these for paperwork. Um, they are those really cheap, they're about five dollars. And I just have one for each of my bills. Slide it in. At the end of the year I stick the year on it and I get rid of them after two or three years. I keep them because I like to go back and be like, oh, what was my hydro bill two years ago? Because I'm crazy anal like that. So, um, yeah, if you have way more paperwork than that, check out my website. It, um, I have a blog. It's clutterbug.me, like clutterbug, all one word, dot M-E. And it uh, has this little way that you can find out what your organizing style is and some tips for paperwork for each different organizing style. If you're a piler, if you're a hider like me, if you're like um, a busy bee, a mover, um, they, there's different ways to organize your paperwork depending on what your organizing style is. So, yeah, thanks, Martha. It's been totally fun. Again, I haven't seen your space, so if you want to send me pictures, I can um, give you some more or better advice based on what your space looks like. Oh, and you have those three-drawer plastic things. Hate them. They're good for crafts or small things, but otherwise they're ugly and they're completely useless. They do, however, work in the bottom of your closet if you don't have shelving. You can put it in there and you can use it for belts, socks, other little tiny accessory things. Even your dog stuff can go in there. Um, but again, they just are clutter catchers most of the time. That's just my personal opinion. I really hate them. Okay, I hope that helps. We'll see you next time.